doing these games in replacement for the the weekend tournament that is taking place it's one of the big tournaments and one of the nicest tournaments i've been to as well i'll take that win no problem um so i'm going to play four games and see how we get on and see if we can try and hit the 50 50 mark but um there's no real targets here it's just just in place of the over the board tournament that i'm unable to attend one of the nicest tournaments as well but anyway we'll jump back in so chalk that one as a win yep no i won't obviously okay so nice and steady there's no rush but they're moving real quick so it looks like we're going to be in trouble Oh god, they are moving quick. Woohoo! Alright, let's just bring the bishop here. This type of opening, it opens up all the space towards our king, so very mindful of that. So all because of the way the pawns are structured, in my head I'm thinking, I want to try and explode this so that they're not guarded by these pawns. It's a possibility, which I'm going to go for. I have to shut this window and we will take and we we'll, can probably take again with the knight one of the key things is the knight's going to get challenged anyway if we take with the queen as well as the knight can come here the bishop's no longer going to be attacking it i do like this being opposite here though so taking with the knight shouldn't be a problem but we are moving it twice i'm actually going to take with the queen so they're moving dead quick so it does give us that opportunity to hit the pawn and the knight so a bit of a mini fork i don't want to move quick like the opponent's moving quick because we may be falling into a set play thing it is a longer play game and if we move fast we're going to make some mistakes Oh, I forgot the camera. Chit chatting away. See you. Check my settings. Oh, need to move my move my washing out of the way. I don't want us to be seeing my washing. There we go. Yeah. Right, so what's happening? Did I miss something? Not moved yet. It's only potentially a pawn, but they don't even have to take anyway. They can just move the knight, can't they? Which I'm assuming the knight's just going to move here just to protect the pawn. So really I don't know why they need to take this long when they've been moving super fast in the early part of the game. But they have taken, so that means we, we're going to be on the white square. You can't come here because the x-ray through, but the knight can. So the knight will go here and attack the queen or here. So we will take and we're going to castle because they're looking to get our queen with the rook. Right, so they've back to moving fast again. So we could come here and attack the pawn. Like we said, they've got all of this stuff going on, and I think they will be focused on that. Especially getting the knight here, getting the queen here, putting pressure on here. The bishop's already got that diagonal. So that looks pretty fierce. So we know this, can we stop it? The queen can come here, 
just to stay around this area. If they do do that, then the, uh, we can take the knight off the board. So that's their idea. As we mentioned right at the very beginning of the game, that sort of position help, helps set them up for doing this sort of attack. Because we're kind of familiar with that pattern, it's not saying it's going to be 100% proof because our knight won't have any protection on. We move here. So the bishop then moves somewhere. Maybe it just takes... Yeah, just takes the pawn. So the queen can then take the knight. So that's what's going to happen, isn't it? And the queen can't come and stop that. Only other place is coming here, protecting the knight. But the rook is going to see the knight, the queen off. Then we can hide behind the knight. Because they're looking for this thing. Hide behind the knight, the knight then comes here. Looking for the queen to come here. So we're going to have to be pushing this at some point. So there's the squish attempt coming on already. I might be overly respecting the opponent's um, potential position. But I think that's what's going to happen. I think we need to bring the queen here. Yep. The rook attacks, then we come here because we still need to keep that because they're looking for this. And if they still did it anyway, so we go here, rook attacks, we come here. And if they still did it anyway, king takes, king takes, queen's not got the diagonal yet, but the knight does. So the knight comes and puts the check on the king. King moves back, then the queen comes here, and they're managing that square. Queen comes there, so then our queen can come across, sorry, from, yeah, from there. Our queen can come across and block, type thing. Yep, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. It just feels like we're playing defense nanny. The aggressive nature at which they're moving. I, I genuinely know that is what the, they're going to be trying to do. That type of thing. Obviously the rook's going to come first. But they might be impatient and just go for it anyway. Because what will what will happen is. The knight will have a fork on the king and the queen. If he goes now. Yep. They haven't gone for it yet. Uh, that was the first move we said was the rook attacking. It's okay. So we then said we were going to squeeze the queen across here. That was our initial movement if the rook did come there. we're still wanting to protect the um, knight because they have have this situation they're probably still going to do something with that but we're going to move the queen so it's following our original calculation but really i mean even if it takes there and we take he's still got the knight with the check on but we did say then from that point on we were going to bring the king back that's when they bring the queen across and then we were looking to challenge the queen but the bishop is still there and they're not doing it yet so it might be a saving grace that they've not done that do we attack this bishop just to see what it's wanting to do. There's no longer got well. The knight can still do the stuff, can't it? Uh, but the yeah, and the queen is not there, attacking our queen. 
at the minute and we have got support with the pawn so if there's some funky shenanigans going on let's attack this bishop because two moves they haven't done what we thought they may do those would have been the stronger moves i would have thought they still have potential for this annoying thing here but hopefully they're circumventing it themselves Not properly set up today at all. Crikey. I was just going to do a gentle chit chat and I've had to set everything up again. Oh, that's better. Hey. And the knight's attacking our queen. Eek. Knight's attacking our queen. So can we bring our queen across to the other side? Maybe attacking this pawn here. Just to give them something to think about. Obviously they can just simply drop the pawn. But then we can take with a check. Then his king just attacks the knight. It comes back around again. I think that might be something. Only issue I've got is that this has got a discovered check on our queen. And his knight can put a check on us, but we can take it off the board. We can go for the bishop. Bishop's protected. Well, yeah, I mean, he can always go here as well, just blocking. And then he is hitting us with the bishop. Yeah, there's a lot of hitting the bishop and queen. Move the queen across. I feel like I'm going to get my queen trapped at some point. What's the deal? I'm going to have to let the king go and see if we come across here. Tack a pawn. This gives them something to think about. So we'll go here. Obviously, the knight is going to move either here, here, because of the discovery through to the queen. If they don't, then we can't. Ah, oh, he's moved it. He's moved it in front. Is there anything else we can do? Nothing really. Gonna have to move it, like we said, and hide it in the corner. I think we like this one, probably. Then the bishop can come and do the thing like we said. Mm. Sitting it here. I think we said, well, we're going to go there. Mm. We are attacking their pawn. Gives them something to think about. And which knight can put a check on us? This knight can put a check on us. Can put a check on us. Let's bring the queen here. Not really one for greedy munching pawns. Greedy munching queen. Just because you get a pawn doesn't really improve your position. Probably looking to try and get this bishop off. But he's got that defending now. And there. We could take the bishop off if he doesn't move it. If he doesn't move it. It's protected the pawn. Take this bishop off the board. Try and open up these rooks, get, try and get something in play. Let's attack the queen, but no, because the knight is there. Boom, 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 boom. Attack the queen. Nothing else. Attack the queen, open the pawn. No, not doing that one. Knight's coming here attacking the queen, but then where's the out? Because he can just simply just come across. 
Where's the out really? Probably not even going to go that far. Just go here. Well, we'll take him then. So go onto a white square here. And we have to come back again. So they'll know we're trying to get our white square bishop out. Could bring the bishop here. It's attacking another pawn. Gives them an excuse to come down here and attack this pawn and attack the knight. Going to bring the bishop off the back. Again, looking like we're attacking a pawn like we did with the queen. Fingers crossed it's working okay for us. Always mindful which knight can attack the queen. This one or this way. And just bear in mind, obviously, Fisher Spassky. If we did take this pawn, he's just going to drop this pawn here and then we lose the bishop. Boom, boom. So it's either this, coming for the pawn, greedy munching. I don't think they'll move this. And they have options of attacking the queen. And they can do none of those. It's entirely up to them, isn't it? Has actually defended against it. That's a bit weird because the knight can just come here and attack the queen. Not saying it's a simple thing because the queen can come here and is going to get pawns as well. And the knight doesn't have an about an out, does it? Come here, queen comes here. If we take the pawn or take this one, I suppose, attacking the rook. Rook then comes and attacks or comes this way and attacks. Suppose we could go here. Okay, Rook could attack the Queen, smaller piece attacking the Queen, obviously it's going to come here, that's why I'm not really wanting to do that. If we did this, it feels like it's potentially given us something, Queen comes here, but maybe they're so itchy they'll just go back and protect the pawn, because if we then take, then his Rook can attack. And oh, we do have this safe space here. So I'm I'm plumping for the knight attacking the queen rather than the rook attacking because we kind of lose that bit of momentum in terms of position and attacking, I think. So that's my attack. So what can they do? They're playing defense nanny at the moment, which is good. None of this, none of this. I think I'm going with the attack here. Again, the last few moves we've give, done have given them something to think about. Bishop won well, not so much. We did expect some sort of grandiose non-attention of that pawn. But they've just blocked it down. And then this third knight move again is giving them something to think about. Obviously, we're thinking they're coming here, attacking the pawn. Taken. Don't know which way the rook's going to go. Does it make a difference? This one he gets a pawn, doesn't he? Yeah, so probably goes there. Yeah, because the knights. So then we can come back and attack their queen and the knight. Knight probably taking. Queen takes. Maybe the rook takes the pawn, then the queen's got the pawn. Ah, none of that. So it's like an even exchange, but he gets the double pawns in front of my king. But I get to get a rook off the board. So if I take, he takes, but he has a check on the king, so he gets the tempo to move the rook. That's the downside. That's the downside. So he's giving me something to think about. So we could just slide here. 
with a little cheapy. We go there, they can give a give us something to think about again. Queen's just going to the corner here, attacking the knight, so the knight goes back again. Hmm, okay. So that's that's my first choice, but you know they've got defensible rationale for it. And takes takes got check on the king. Yeah, little bit good, aren't you? So once we move, and then he's gone here, then we've gone here or here. One of the two attacking the knight. Knight maybe jumps back or maybe the pawn drops. Either way, there's a movement to do something. He has to move the queen. The queen is going to come here. Ah, that's why we want to go here. Yep. So if the queen's coming here to attack the knight, then we could take it, you know, and attack the pawn. So maybe they'll just come here or something attacking the knight, which means we can bring the knight here. I ah. don't know if I'm happy with them apples. I don't know if I'm happy with them apples. Um, if his knight comes, puts a check on the king, we take the knight off the board. Let's do that. What do we do if he just moves his queen here now anyway? He moves the queen there, he's attacking the pawn, he's attacking the knight. So we just take the pawn because we're on the rook and follow that same process, just that it's slightly different because the queen is no longer supporting this little square here for it to jump back on. Eee. Yeah, that's probably maybe what's going to happen. Because the cheapy only gets the pawn and it puts like a mate threat, but it's like one move away. So it's easily defended because you can just push the pawn here. So the queen comes here. Attacking the pawn. We can't really defend this pawn. I suppose we could because the bishop could come here and then it's defending. Put a lot of pressure on that bishop though. Then the rook comes to attack it, or maybe the knight. Knight attacks it. Look now, that looks too. Ugh. If the knight attacks it, then the queen and the knight are on this pawn. But the knight is protecting the bishop. Mm, maybe the pawn pushes up. Queen here, bishop here, the queen's on both, so maybe the pawn pushes onto the knight, that leaves the bishop hanging, yeah, not like the look of that, no I don't think we're going to do that then, so they come here, Although, wait, wait, so go there, go there. We've got two pieces on this um, knight. If they decided to hit the knight, we can take the knight with the bishop. He takes with the pawn, doubles his pawns. And then we would be able to take the rook if the rook was there. So there's some sort of tempo there. Bishop. Pawn, maybe the pawn, maybe the knight. 
Maybe the knight moves to attack the bishop. That might make more sense, might it? That might make more sense. So there, bishop here, knight goes. I don't think so. And it can also go here as well, but I don't know if that's doing anything. Attacks the bishop. Well, we could take their knight. And that would be for free because the pawn wouldn't be able to take. So I think that might be a half decent position then if they go here. Oh, but he can just take the knight, can't he? With the queen. Oh, <laughs> after all that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if we went like this, he just takes it off the board and then we're not taking this because he's got the rook and the queen protecting. Oh, back to the drawing board. Yeah, so he's attacking the knight, so it may as well just swing this here like we said. This is going back to the original plan of attacking the rook. Attacking the rook, rook, maybe attacks the knight. That's when we're in trouble, really. Knight can come here and attack the rook, but it's going to have nothing left. All because the queen is not there. Mm -hmm. Queen here. Magical position for it. That come here. Go here because the queen's there. Here. They're there too long. Queen can come up and attack it. And where does it go? Although we'd take the rook off the board, wouldn't we? So the rook would move first. He's moved the king. What is the deal? I'm doing all this calculation and not doing any. Oh! And they've resigned. Doing all of that calculation, feel like I've wasted a good half of my life doing all of that because of the potential for what they could do with the position that they looked like they were formulating. Way, way, way overthinking the the potential of their player. But I think if I didn't think like that, then I could fall foul of those bad positions. Let's have a look at the analysis. Let's have a look at the analysis on this one. Right, so they're moving really quick in this opening part here. And we're wanting to just try and get rid of the pawns in the center if we can. In the night, doesn't really like that pawn push, but I'm okay with it. So we brought it to be in an equal type of position because of the simple fact of what we were kind of talking about during the game really. And all their pieces sort of like start to mobilize towards the king side. Doesn't like that queen move. Yeah, I thought it wouldn't. And it's all for this. Yeah, they took ages on this move and we said, well, that's the move they're going to be making because we can't take. Yep. But for some strange reason, the strongest move on the board they didn't find. Weird. So obviously I'm just going here. But what did the computer say then? Oh, obviously, because there's nothing else to do. Yeah, and then... It's saying knight g5 anyway, so it's still going for the attack on the queen. Queen d6 it's saying. I'm not bothering to do my own calculation here because I did mine to death. Um, we, we wanted to try and work with whatever. If they did do that, then we would have found some sort of way of trying to deal with it. But I'm just looking at what the computer is saying. Queen d6, so just moving it to this square. So we ended up moving our queen to this square anyway because they actually did the rook move. So it's only plus 2, you know, 2.2, .2, so it's not really death-defying. But what I was thinking was, 
that they're getting the queen down here, but it's not mentioning any of that. It's saying bishop e4 first. Right, and our idea was if they did bring the queen around here, we were just basically just bringing the queen here. Resigning ourselves to being a pawn down. That's probably why the com computer's saying don't bother with it. It's there, and it's saying knight f4. There's a 4. Boom, f4. It's moving the knight, protecting the square that the queen can come down to. But that's not going to last long, because he's just going to hit the knight into. We're on their queen, but I don't think the queen's taking. I suppose, in a way, if they did do that we would just take the queen off the board and take away the killer threat so it's not too bad not too bad at all yep okay right gonna take a break and then we're trying to replicate the tournament that we're missing this weekend but we're just gonna play four games and um, this is the first game and pretty meaty and we'll see how we get on